Greetings to you on this very special day here in Australia and New Zealand. Today we celebrate Anzac Day. It's the 25th of April, a day in which we commemorate all of our troops, all of our servicemen and women. We remember those who gave their lives in all the different wars. Anzac Day began as a commemoration of the First World War, but has now been extended to commemorate all who have served our country. We are grateful for their sacrifice, and we will always remember them. Today we remember them with the words of Jesus. When he said, Greater love have no man, then he laid down his life for his friends. So many laid down their lives for our freedom, for the life that we enjoy today. We live in a free and democratic country. We're not ruled by tyrants, and we are so grateful for that. We remember them with much gratitude. These words of Jesus are very meaningful because they're not just words. You see, he himself laid down his life, not only for his friends, but for us who were his enemies through sin. He laid down his life so that we may have freedom. Freedom not only just in a physical sense, but freedom in a spiritual sense, that we can be free from the tyranny of sin and the punishment of death. So we thank him today for his ultimate sacrifice for us. And on this day of commemoration, may we never forget our soldiers, our servicemen and women, but also may we never forget our Lord Jesus Christ, who is above all. Today in our prayers, we remember those who have died. We pray for those who are carrying around scars from active service, and we pray for those who are in service. So let's join now together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, on this very meaningful day in our, in our year and as we commemorate Anzac Day, we ask, Lord, that a sense of peace would be in the hearts of all of us. We have a great sense of gratitude for all who have served. We remember those who paid the ultimate price, who have laid down their lives for our freedom. We thank you for them. We pray for those, Lord, who are actively serving still today, who are out there protecting our borders, who are out there protecting us and the values that we have. Lord, we ask that you would protect them and keep them. We thank you for them. We thank you, Lord, that you have loved each one of us so very much. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that not only did you say that greater love has no man, than he laid down his life for his friends. You did it. On Good Friday, you laid down your life for us. You shed your blood so that our sins could be forgiven, so that we could be eternally free. And we thank you so much for your sacrifice. And we want to always remember you and remember what you have done for us. On this day of commemoration, Lord, we ask that you would help us to just take a moment to remember those who have gone before us. May we never forget. Lord, we thank you that you love us so incredibly much. We pray for your blessing over this day. We pray for your blessing over our world. We pray for your healing hand to be upon us. We pray for the sick. We pray for the dying. We pray for the mourning. We pray for strength and we pray for our governments, Lord. We pray that you would give our leaders wisdom, strength, and knowledge. We pray for our communities. We pray that you would continue, Lord, to strengthen us and give us that real sense of friendship. May we be aware of our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, and may we show everybody your love. Lord, we dedicate this day to you. We thank you for another day that you have given to us. And we ask your blessing, we ask that you would take us by the hand, that you would lead us. And we join together in the prayer that you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you. May you have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you again here tomorrow. God bless you.